everybody, and welcome to the 100 meditation tips. In this tip, we're looking at staying awake. Common, it's a common question uh, when we meditate, especially for beginners, uh, come along to a class. And they often say, um, I found myself very distracted during the meditation. I couldn't stop thinking. Or they say, I was falling asleep. I found myself nodding off. So I was sitting there, being guided through the practice. And we feel ourselves gradually dipping into a sleep. It's called mental sinking, our mind gathers. One of the reasons why this happens is because if we haven't meditated before, we're not used to closing our eyes. Psychologically, when we close our eyes, one of the only times we close our eyes generally is when we fall asleep at the end of the day. So that's one of the reasons. But how we stop ourselves from falling asleep, so that's what this tip is looking at, some, some practical tips to help us stay awake. So, one is posture. You know, you often hear at the beginning of a meditation, please sit in a comfortable posture with your back straight, your shoulders relaxed. One of the reasons why we sit with our back straight is so we're alert, you know. Um, for example, if you choose a nice comfy chair uh, to sit in, you know, you kind of slouch into the chair, feeling really comfortable and relaxed, you may have a kind of relaxation session you may end up drifting off. So it's good to actually sit upright, whether it's uh, cross-legged or sitting in a chair, uh, feet on the floor, and back straight. One tip. Another one is, at the beginning of the session, make a determination or a decision to stay awake. It sounds obvious, but the power of decision-making is quite strong. So make a decision for the next however long, half an hour, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, an hour, However long I'm practicing for, I think, during this period of time, I'm going to stay awake. I'm going to do my best to stay alert. Another thing we can do is to keep our eyes slightly open. So there is a tendency, we often don't want to close our eyes completely, but when we practice meditation, but you can uh, keep, them away, keep them open slightly. So you're sitting there, you allow a little bit of light in, and you, you take a spot on the floor, say a meter or so in front of you, to gaze at. You're not closing them completely, they're open, looking like that. Sitting with a straight back, making a decision not to fall asleep, keeping your eyes slightly open. Another thing is to be clear at the beginning of your practice how long you're going to meditate for. So you're clear, so you're saying, okay, I have a 10 minute slot here where I'm going to practice. So there's a start, there's a beginning, middle, and end. It's not just, I'm just going to sit here and see how it goes. That's a recipe for drifting off. So it's a recipe for falling asleep. You think, like, I'm going to meditate for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever it is, and you have a sort of timer. Okay, me personally, I use a timer on my phone. So I set, let's say it's half an hour, set it for 30 minutes, and it's a countdown. And then at the end of the 30 minutes is over, uh, there's a timer, timer goes. Something simple like that, so there's a clear, defined time for how long you're going to meditate for. Another thing is to maybe, if you're feeling a bit sluggish, a bit tired, uh, maybe do some stretching before your practice, and uh, do something physical, um, have a glass of water, be nice and hydrated, have a wash, uh, make sure that you're in a, in a well ventilated space. Yeah, you can you can breathe well and make sure there's some light. You know, you have some nice light coming in, or you, know, you have the light on. That's another thing. If you have the lights off, it can be very very relaxing. But in that way, you're kind of more moving towards sleep. So there are practices, mindfulness meditation practices, that can aid with sleep. But it's important to be clear the differences between those and other practices which are aiding to increase 
mental harmony, increased focus, increased clarity. These practices do not send you to sleep. And at, at the end of them, generally, you won't feel tired. You'll feel alert. You'll feel your mind is refreshed and uplifted. So the, there's a few tips on staying awake. Just finally, one thing that sometimes people say, maybe at the end of a day retreat, uh, they start to feel tired. They go, oh, I actually feel quite tired. Or at the end, when I got home, I felt really tired and I slept really well. One thing to remember is if you do a lot of meditation, although you're not sort of physically moving around, it doesn't feel like you're doing very much, if you apply yourself, then it's a training and it's an actual... It's, uh, it exerts energy, and it can be, finally, you know, you need to rest, and um, it, it is a good workout sometimes as well. Um, when you stop uh, and try and do some meditation, you actually realise that you're tired. <laughs> I mean, a lot of the time we are tired, but we don't allow ourselves to actually stop to, to notice that. We only let ourselves stop right at the end of the day. So it may be, you know, meditation, if you do it correctly, clear instructions, it's not going to send you to sleep, but you may be falling asleep because you're actually tired and you need, <laughs> and you need more sleep. So apply those tips, but also look and, and make sure that you actually are getting enough sleep and enough rest. Thank you very much for listening to this tip, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.